the trial of George Zimmerman, another dramatic day in court with the judge talking directly to Zimmerman before the defense rested. The case could be in the hands of the jury as early as tomorrow. ABC's Matt Gutman is in Sanford, Florida with the very latest. Matt, good morning. Good morning, Amy. That's right. Closing arguments today and likely jury deliberations tomorrow. And in that dramatic moment in court yesterday, the judge demanding to know whether George Zimmerman would testify on his own behalf. It was likely the most the jury had heard him speak, and he declined. It all comes down to this. Defense would rest. With testimony now over, jurors will begin hearing closing arguments later today. The final moments in court Wednesday, again, heated. Judge Deborah Nelson asking George Zimmerman again and again whether he would take the stand in his own defense. Have you made a decision as to whether or not you want to testify in the case? I, I object to that question. I think that's Mr. Overruled. Zimmerman. Zimmerman's lawyers objecting over and over. Your objection is overruled. Finally, Zimmerman answered. After consulting with counsel not to testify your own. Those words, the most the 29-year-old has spoken during his second-degree murder trial. Zimmerman, who shot and killed 17-year-old Trayvon Martin in February 2012, pleaded not guilty, saying he fired in self-defense after Martin pinned him to the ground. Is this the way he described it, in the area of his belly button? On Wednesday, jurors got to see prosecutors challenge the defense's version of that scuffle. Prosecutor John Guy climbing atop a foam mannequin while cross-examining law enforcement trainer Dennis Root. Were you aware that the defendant described to his best friend that um, when he slid down, the defendant slid down, that uh, Trayvon Martin was up around his armpits? Jurors and even defense attorneys craning their necks, some even standing up to see the demonstration. And where would the gun be now? Now the gun would be um, behind your left leg. Defense attorney Mark O'Mara even asked to borrow the mannequin during his redirect. Were the injuries on Mrs. Zimmerman's back of his head consistent with someone doing this on cement? I, I don't think so. How about this? How about somebody resisting the attempt? Now, by tomorrow night, George Zimmerman could know whether he faces life in prison or freedom. We're told he's preparing for both, spending a lot of time with his family. Now, even if he's convicted on a lesser charge like aggravated assault, we're told that he will be escorted directly from that courthouse to the jail. Amy. All right, Matt Gutman, thanks so much. And let's bring in ABC's chief legal affairs anchor, Dan Abrams. And Dan, you've been very outspoken of the fact that you don't think Zimmerman is going to be convicted on murder charges. So we see the prosecution now trying to get these lesser charges. What are we talking about? Manslaughter, aggravated assault? And, and I think the aggravated assault is absolutely crucial. I, I think there's almost no question that the jury will hear the possibility of manslaughter. But if they hear the possibility of aggravated assault, the reason that's going to make the defense nervous is A, because it provides the jury with a compromise. And B, under Florida law, he could actually end up serving more time for aggravated assault with the use of a firearm, because he had a firearm with him, than would be the case with simply manslaughter. So a lot of reasons for the defense to be very nervous about that aggravated assault, lesser included offense. So much at stake for both sides here, and we've seen unbelievable theatrics, dramatics uh, from the judge, from the prosecutor, from the uh, defense attorneys as well. What do we think we're going to see in closing arguments today? Well, certainly tensions have been boiling over inside that courtroom, and you saw that in particular yesterday between the judge and one of the defense attorneys. But I think everyone's going to pull back from that once the closing arguments start. The closing arguments are so crucial for both sides that you're going to see, I think, the prosecutor focusing on the human aspect. This didn't need to happen. And the defense focusing on the law, on reasonable doubt. I think those are going to be the two key things to look for. All right, Dan Abrams, all eyes on Florida today.